Right. Reporting live from downtown Toronto at Nui Blush, it's live from last week. Episode 93! Let's go! Welcome my fellow Jaywalkers to another episode of Live from last week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So earlier today, the wife and I went up to the North York area so that we can get her a little touch up on her nails. And comparing the video of how her nails looked before, this is how her nails looked after her appointment. And after the wife got me the show for her to get her nails done, she treated me out to the local Osmos to get some Osmos chicken box and Osmos beef shawarma box. But anyways, I don't know if you guys caught last week's episode when I went to the Rogers Center with the wife to catch a New York Yankees versus Toronto Blue Jays game where we were watching, waiting to see if Aaron Judge hit his record-tying 61st home run. And well, because he didn't, today, if you guys didn't notice, I'm back at the Rogers Center to catch game two of the Yankees versus Blue Jays. And we're hoping that Aaron Judge will at least hit one home run so that we can witness history. Oh. Tuesday, a special event where we always seem to buy tickets to, buying several loony hot dogs at a time. Six hot dogs. <laughs> Cheers to loony hot dog day. <laughs> and trying to find that loony mascot somewhere in the stadium. So let's see if we can find him again. The loony is here for loony dog. I found him. <laughs> Sorry guys, after quite a disappointing game where the Blue Jays couldn't defeat the Yankees and Aaron Judge not being able to make history tonight by hitting his 61st home run, I'm just a little bit sad but excited to buy tickets for tomorrow's game hoping to see Aaron Judge hit a home run and possibly witness history. And so, before we call it a night and get on to tomorrow, we just have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys. Starting out with a couple of birthday greetings to some of my university friends that I made while I was living in downtown Toronto. This birthday greeting goes out to FCAR alumni Patrick. Happy birthday, Patrick. And also a birthday greeting to Robin. Happy birthday, Robin. We've also got a birthday shout out to one of my childhood friends who I went to school with in elementary school, high school, and hung out with while I was living in downtown Toronto for university. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Shay. Happy birthday, Sarah. And last but not least, we got a birthday shout out to one of my wife's coworkers with whom I went to activate with as well as a Blue Jays game with in the past. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Emily. Happy birthday, Em. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So recalling that a couple of days back, I looked at all my Blue Jays jerseys and noticed that I haven't washed them in a while. So what I did, one jersey by one jersey by another jersey, I put them into the wash and got them nice and clean. So now here I am at the Scarborough GO station with my fresh Blue Jays jersey, ready to go downtown for the last game of the Yankees versus Jays series. And while I have you guys on the GO train right now, let's just go over a couple of things that we did today. After waking up hella early, just after 6 a.m., I took the wife on a mini carpool all the way to her work for her day shift before staying up until 10 a.m. 
for the main reason that the Blue Jays had their postseason tickets being sold to the general public at that time. So after being excited, getting in queue for the Ticketmaster online waiting line, I had to try it not once, not twice, not even three times before finally being able to lay my hands on some Blue Jays postseason tickets. With honestly it being a pretty stressful experience, waiting up to five minutes on each attempt, and after that time was up, having Ticketmaster let me know that those tickets weren't actually available. And luckily, I was able to buy a couple of seats to the AL wildcard games and a couple of seats to the AL division series. But man oh man, honestly, was it ever a struggle. I then went to my local oil chain center, a place that we have visited in previous Live From Last Week episodes, to make sure that the Mini is driving smoothly and get her her scheduled oil change. And to be productive, while I was waiting in the waiting room, I decided to do a couple of edits from the next Live From Last Week video. And now that my baby is nice and ready to go on the road, certified with this new sticker on the corner of my windshield, I was set to go buying last minute tickets to come see the Jays game tonight, where we are hoping to go for the third day in a row, in hopes of watching Aaron Judge either tie Roger Maris's 61 home run record or even beat it. So let's go see what happens. So after a bittersweet game where the Yankees defeated the Jays, I was at least happy of making my money's worth buying a ticket to every single game this week. Since we got to watch live, Aaron Judge hit his record tying 61st home run of the year. But yeah, if you guys haven't noticed, I am here at Toronto's Union Station, ready to wrap it up for the night. But before I do, I have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting off with a couple of birthday shout outs to a couple of my BVG former co-workers. We got a birthday shout out to Maeve. Happy birthday, Maeve. As well as a birthday greeting to Corey. Happy birthday, Corey. We've also got a birthday greeting to one of my former co-workers, Sarah. Happy birthday, Sarah. As well as one of my fellow CAs at YSIG. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Nikki. Happy birthday, Nikki. Next on the list, a birthday shout out to one of our family friends in Michigan. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Anthony. Happy birthday, Anthony. Last but not least, a birthday greeting to one of my titos in the Philippines, who is a big Real Madrid fan. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Tito Favi. Happy birthday, Father Favi. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So guys, after getting home late last night, this morning I'm taking a nice little stroll on the boardwalk of Woodbine Beach, wanting to do a quick little shout out to the wife, of whom attended the Blue Jays game with me after I bought some last minute tickets, while she was in the middle of her two day shifts. But yeah, thanks again wife for being there to share a core memory with me of watching Aaron Judge hit his historic 61st home run of the year. So this morning in returning the favor, after getting just around 5 hours of sleep last night, I decided to once again mini carpool with the wife earlier this morning and make sure she got to work on time. But in other news, like several months ago, I have just a little complaint. And like earlier times, this deals with Kudo and them not letting me know when my data limit has been reached. 
and I think I'm supposed to get some warnings when I reach 50% or 90%, but not at 100%. You see, on my data plan, I still have a couple of days left before it renews. So yeah, so much for their shock-free data warnings. So after dropping off the wife to work, I had to stop by my local McDonald's here near the beaches just to get a little bit of Wi-Fi signal. And with that, I was able to find out who has their birthday today. And now I'm able to give a quick birthday shout out to one of my s -Jock friends out there, of whom I traveled with to World Youth Day back in 2011. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Nikki. Happy birthday, Nikki. I'm hoping that you and your family at this time are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. But anyways guys, it's time to go back home, edit some live from last week video, and prepare for my one single night shift later on tonight. So we'll wrap up today's segment here, and I'll catch you guys again tomorrow. Today, I just want to do a quick shout out to one of my co-workers, Kennedy, who survived last night's hectic night shift with me. And I just wanted to give her and our team great props for all the work that we did last night for our patients. Anyways, after that shift, I got back to the condo to get ready for yet another busy day. So after getting in yet another quick, short-lived post-night shift nap, I played Uber driver for the wife, bringing her to yet another wedding coordinating event at actually the place that we had our wedding reception. The good old Gildan and Estate which had also reminded me that yesterday afternoon, I watched a Facebook live feed of one of my FSAT friends, Priscilla, get married to her husband at her wedding. Which also reminded me that my own wedding was Facebook live recorded for all my friends and family that couldn't be in attendance to watch and see. Anyways, congrats to this newly married couple. Moving on, I made my way back to my parents' place to watch them pack and get ready as I was about to take them to the airport to go for their vacation trip back home to the Philippines. Plus, while I was visiting, I saw that my childhood neighbors who have lived right beside my parents for over 32 years had their house up for sale. Anywho, after an hour or two, we were finally ready to hit the road. Nice and cozy in the mini. You ready, mom? Ready, dad? Ready to go. Yay, I'm ready. But not before filling up the mini on gas and buying a lotto ticket for tonight's 70 million Lotto Max jackpot. We also stopped by a local McDonald's to get some food to go back at the place where my buddy, shout outs to Antoine, used to work while we were in high school. And after stuffing our faces full of food while in the mini, I saw that my parents were passed out, leaving me, their son, the one who just got off night shift, running on less than two hours of sleep to chauffeur them to the airport. Anyways, I was more than happy just to make sure that them and their luggage arrived safely to Pearson. With the mini at Pearson Airport, we're dropping off Tito Eddie and Tita Mone. See you in two months, Nika. We gotta go to the warm weather now. Enjoy the beach. All right, bye mom, bye dad. Bye James. Thank you. One more hug, mom. Safe travels. Thank you, thank you. Have fun. Bye guys. See you in a couple months. And now, if you guys haven't recognized, I'm in the parking lot at Yorkdale Mall where they have these really interesting inaccessible accessibility doors where I'm just waiting for the rush hour traffic to die down before going back home to catch up on some sleep. But before I go home, I have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting off with a birthday shout out to one of my family friends out there. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Francis. Happy birthday, Francis. And next, a birthday greeting to a childhood friend who I used to compete with in Knights of Columbus Free Throw Championships. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Bronson. Happy birthday, Bronson. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. Wake me up when September ends. So now that September has ended, I want to welcome all you guys to October. And speaking of that nap that I just had, I'm thinking that I had a dream. 
where my beloved Toronto Blue Jays got to celebrate in their clubhouse since they just clinched a playoff spot in the 2022 MLB postseason. As well as news breaking that McDonald's is coming out with an adult Happy Meal. Which I'm kinda questioning about because are they gonna give us kids toys or are they gonna give us adult? Never mind. But anyways, I'm just hoping that these McDonald's adult Happy Meals come to Canada. And guess what guys, both of these things actually weren't a dream. But moving on, earlier today, we actually went back to the place where the Mini got its oil change because we set up an appointment earlier in the week to get the Mini a new pair of lungs. AKA get its old dirty filter changed out and give her a fresh new one. And I don't know if you guys remember this scene from last week's episode. Hopefully later on, I'll be able to surprise the wife with her new scrub set. This evening after I took it out of the wash, I presented her new beautiful set of scrubs right to her. Come here. I hope it fits. Here's your scrubs. Surprise. Ah. Try them all. Fix. Yeah, go. And. <laughs> it fits. Anyways, keeping the good vibes going. Before I tell you guys what I'm up to tonight, we just have a couple of birthday greetings for October the 1st. We got a quick birthday shout out to one of my beach volleyball friends out there. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Grace. Happy birthday, Grace. Next up, a birthday shout out to one of my friends that I went to frosh with back in the day with Rob, hung out at the quad at Ryerson, as well as memories of me visiting them in Vancouver. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Tannis. Happy birthday, Tannis. And last but not least, we got a birthday greeting to one of my Ryerson alumni friends out there, of whom I'm remembering visiting in Ottawa a couple years back and who I practiced my Spanish language with. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Madeline. Feliz cumpleaños, Madeline. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So yeah, continuing on with what I'm up to tonight, wearing my nice neon jacket that I bought at the CNE last month. I've been roaming around the city taking random videos alongside ambulances and checking out for the first time in three years, a night event featuring art exhibitions all over Toronto called Nuit Blanche. After signing off from you guys last night, I ran into one of my buddies, Cam, at Harborfront. Cam I finally found you! After running into another group of friends on Young Street, V, Edler, Din, Denver, and Paul, who you guys know did this week's Live From Last Week episode intro. I was also able to get some late night dinner at Popeyes to enjoy in the car then pass out in the mini for a post Nuit Blanche nap before picking up the wife from work after her night shift this morning. But before I let you guys in to what I'm doing today, we have a couple of birthday greetings, starting out with one of my friends who's a videographer and photographer who made a cameo in a previous Live From Last Week episode while he was shooting for a wedding. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Jerome. Happy birthday, Jerome. Next, a birthday shout out to a friend that I made at the Ryerson Chaplaincy back when I was in university. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Michael. Happy birthday, Michael. 
And last but not least, a birthday shout out to one of my childhood friend's husbands who attended my wedding and hails from the great city of Peterborough. This birthday shout out goes out to you, James. Happy birthday, James. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. But yeah, after running off minimal sleep at the condo and being at the same place back in downtown Toronto after a five hour break from here, going back to the dome for the Blue Jays regular season home finale, I'm meeting up with one of my university friends who was featured in a previous Laugh From Last Week video, the good old Jono. After yet another great Blue Jays game at the Dome with Jonathan, with the Blue Jays defeating the Red Sox 6-3, it's time to go home, pick up the wife and driver to her night shift tonight. We're also gonna edit some live from last week footage, try to get some rest, and finally try to catch up on some sleep that I've lost over the past couple of nights. First of all, to start off with today, I just wanted to say... On October 3rd, he asked me what day it was. It's October 3rd. AKA, Happy Mean Girls Day, everyone. Back to yesterday, after going in for my first in-person Sunday Mass in a while, at the parish downtown of Our Lady of Lords, after editing live from last week footage last night and forgetting about the time, guess who, once again, stayed up until 6 a.m. and got a quick 45 minute nap before going back downtown to pick up the wife after her night shift was done this morning. Anyways, while I was running low on sleep, the wife, after taking a post-night shift nap, reminded me that she was a little bit jealous when I got Popeyes over the weekend without her. And I bet you, you guys can guess who was sent on an Uber delivery run for Popeyes this afternoon. And well, after getting this feast of chicken and biscuits fit for a queen, I was able to drive the wife this evening back downtown to go in for her third night shift in a row. But yeah, after dropping her off, I found myself driving around Toronto visiting a local stadium that I always pass by, featuring state-of-the-art facilities, including the Bill Stevens track. But yeah, this is the location where we'll wrap up this week's episode. But before we do, we have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. With the first birthday shout out, going out to one of my friends back in high school who had a devastating left foot while playing soccer. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Alonzo. Happy birthday, Alonzo. We've also got a birthday shout out today for my cousin who is actually also a part-time sax model. This birthday greeting goes out to you Totot Ron. Happy birthday Totot Ron. I'm hoping that all my friends and family that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. And now that we're done our birthday greetings, we're going to finish up this week's episode. So if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter. Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jay Walker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.